So you're asleep. Uh -huh. You wake up your eyes. Wake up your eyes. You're like, hey, eyes, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and you're listening for the birds in the sky. And you hear them. Doo, 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 doo. And then you get out of bed. And you open your front door. And you don't see a single soul outside. And you realize you're the last human being on this planet. What do you do? Go to the store and get everything. Go get a car. Like, go get, like, a big fancy car. Get whatever I want and just go to the house and eat. And just, <laughs> just be sad that everyone's gone. And then just try to make it through it. You know, just, like, pump myself up. I was like, Devin, you can do this. All right? You you just So it's already, in there. you're an hour in. You're already talking to yourself. You are not <laughs> going to make it long. <laughs> right. Um, man, I... I I mean, is like civilization completely wiped out? I would say, yeah, it's gone. Like it just, it just <laughs> wiped out completely overnight. What? The? And you were able to survive. You were able to survive. Some aliens came in, just <laughs> zapped everybody, and you slept through it. All. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you'd have to start preparing for whatever's might come back. So, I mean, I again, I'd go probably go to the store, pick up <laughs> whatever I need that's gonna be, you know. To help me sustain, you know, probably canned goods, stuff like that. Yeah, maybe go pick up a Ferrari or something like that while you're picking it up. Um, or some kind of, you know, automobile. Um, I keep thinking and going back to I Am Legend. like That's what I'm picturing, too. Yeah. Like <laughs> that I'm, exact scenario is like literally what I'm picturing. And then you just have, you have X amount of vehicles that you just, you park in a certain position. So that way when this one runs out of gas, boom, you jump onto another one. I guess it's like... Because I, I like in I Am Legend. Let's say, for instance, he's the last one in New York. But he, right, but he does have someone at least. Like so, are, are animals completely gone? Yeah, that's we'll, we'll, yeah. We'll say animals are still there. Oh, oh, darn. Then I made it. <laughs> <laughs> what's and what's Crap, crazy? Because all they have is chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, anyone else's dog can go to the shelter. And no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, and, you know, I was I was actually reading the reason why I bring this up. I was literally reading a story about this the other day, right? And they were bringing is it's called like what if, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they brought up things I never thought of, right? And they were they were talking about like electricity. What are you going to do about electricity? Mm -hmm. I never thought about that. But they're like, if everyone disappears, there's no one running like these plants. Mm -hmm. You're going to run out of electricity very soon. Um, clean water, like you'll run out of clean water very soon. And I never, I never, for some reason, that's one thing that just never I never thought of because like you know I don't know how to run a little, you know electrical plant. You're right, like. It's not going to be a thing. Gas, you know, they're like, yeah, it'll be a little while, but gas, maintenance on cars, um, you better hope you don't get hurt or sick because good luck because, you know, you don't have a way to get, you know, medical supplies other than just, I hope this is the thing I need. <laughs> um, so I, there's, oh, and maintenance on um, buildings because they brought up, everyone says go to a city, right? You'll have, you know, a bunch of stuff. They're like, but the maintenance on buildings, buildings will start to collapse. Mm -hmm. um, and now you're in, you know, a danger zone of collapsing buildings. And like, it was just so much stuff that I thought, oh my God, everything that <laughs> I, have, I have worked my whole entire life for <laughs> planned in my head is wrong. <laughs> well, no, because in I Am Legend, what does he do for power? He has a generator, gas powered, of course. But like you said, if we live in this area, what are the chances that you know, you can, that you're going to run out of gas with as many gas stations that are around. Now, well, again, if it does, if the, if the gas stations don't have power to pump out, you have to figure out a way to, you know, pump it out. Um, again, that's where the generator comes in. You can still power a gas station with a generator or at least power the pumps with the generator. What, what would your goal be? Like, what's the first thing you're kind of wanting to do? Get naked and run around. <laughs> like, just be I able guess, to. Well, like, after you kind of settle in and get your stuff situated, what's your game plan? Like, what do you, what do, you do? I don't think I'd look for anything. Or I don't think I'd, be, I'd just be like, all right, I'm ine inevitably, I'm going to die. Because... But I mean, what are you going to try to do to survive, you know, as long as you possibly can survive? Because like, my thing, too, is, like, internet. You're not going to have internet. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, like, I have no idea how I would plug a gas station into a generator mm -hmm. and, and make that whole entire gas station work. 
I have no idea what I would do, and I can't Google it either. So just, uh, go to a library and just get all these. Yeah, books. I was about to say, go to a library, go to read. Have to library it and like and check it out and be like, oh my god, what are these books? <laughs> have, you, have you ever realized if you watch those movies where almost everyone's gone, there's like a zombie mm-hmm. invasion. Those people are like in the military or engineers, so they have something to mm-hmm. fall back on. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Like in a quiet place, that dude was what? I think he was an engineer. He's making a radio in the back, so he has the viral skills. So. That's something I don't have. <laughs> yeah, you would have to teach yourself so much mm-hmm. with you know um, technology that unfortunately we don't use today because they none of us read. <laughs> I mean, we know how to read, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's not like would you, you don't. It's you not be, like you don't have time. Would you though. be That's as lazy? Be like, how do I do this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be like, I got homework. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would just be care food. Like, you'd have to obviously go, and I would assume eat as much of like the perishables you could, because you know they're so gonna be gone. All the zebra cakes, very, yeah, <laughs> they're gonna be gone soon. And then, well, then at that point, you're good with like canned foods for I guess for a, a long time, for a good amount, depending on how much you can travel, what your your the gas looks like, if you can figure out how to power that gas station up. I guess just go find like an open field, which we have a lot here in Texas. Yeah. Get you like a house that's in the middle of a field. Find you like a clear spring with you know drinkable water. Uh, be kind of your basis like that you need like to survive yeah. right away. Like, Not you even you can. I, I feel like you could still like let's say everybody's gone right. Right. Everybody's completely gone, but you still have let's say access to everybody that's on your block, right? The houses on your block. Okay. This would be my my mentality. I'm gonna go real quick to home depot and pack up as many generators as possible then i'm going to wire these generators to each one of these houses each house let's say your next door neighbor is going to have four to five refrigerators so that way you go to the store and you pick up whatever you can and throw it in there well even then that's not going to last most food only lasts in the refrigerator for Mm -hmm. what a week Mm -hmm. if you freeze it there's no electricity that's why you have a generator generator. but what do you waste which would you yeah okay. well, i mean sooner like meat like you can freeze meat but i mean sooner or later it's definitely and you gotta think go about bad. the other stories they don't have a generator on so want their food my bad will their food go bad too? That, that, yeah inevitably yeah that would be hard like I, I would assume like you're gonna have to learn basically how to how to like, grow how to hunt mm-hmm. yeah because that's another thing that that article talked about it's like animals like the animal population would eventually start to grow and then now just you know, overrun you yeah. yeah wolves and everything oh. switch around here um devin's favorite animal in the world mountain lions oh. um, will eventually you know be overrunning you and you know obviously you'd have to go and you know find yourself some protection against that and it, would, it just that article just made me think like man I am not as prepared for the end of the world like I thought it was nobody's gonna be prepared for <laughs> just, that you just get like a whole pack of like dogs and just start training them <laughs> like <laughs> you've got 10 dogs outside your house for anybody that because even dogs like you would think after a while like dogs would be mm-hmm. an enemy against you too because like they're obviously hungry right and if they see you running around they're like it's her big boy. yeah <laughs> so I just feel like there's a lot more obstacles just growling, yeah <laughs> that I, I that I would have never thought of. Yeah. Would you still shower? Of course. <laughs> You're Are you clean sure? Water. Huh? I was gonna be there to smell you. <laughs> I can smell myself. I, don't I am you. a three hundred pound man. Trust me. <laughs> Not at the end of the world. You'll be like one hundred ninety eight. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'll be. All, it'll be. All, cause I'll be eating up protein, right? And I'll be. Nah, walking. You'll still be eating zebra cake. You, you say you're gonna go freeze all this, but you'll just go get zebra cake from Twinkies. Go get Twinkies. Uh, and, then like, and then have a diabetic collapse. <laughs> wake up and be like, all right, I got that out of the way. I can picture him like like Boyle's first day at work, where a customer came and was like, "Is a Boyle here?" He's like. Uh, Oh, I'm mean, like, dude, it's your first day. I can picture him like like that at the end of the world. He's like, oh, I'll just do this tomorrow. <laughs> Man, us talking about this, uh, like if you were the only person left in the world. Have y'all seen that movie Passenger? I was literally about to bring this up. Uh, you're talking about the Chris uh, Pratt. Chris Pratt. I was yes, literally that's such about a good movie. movie. So imagine you wake up early and you're traveling to another planet. And you can't go back to sleep, and you have to stay awake for 90 years. You know that, like, I'm eventually going to die. So you think how he, yeah, like what would you do essentially in that scenario? It's such a good like conversation it is to have with people because there's no right or wrong, I guess you can say, but mm-hmm. it's, it's, I guess, hearing people's perspective and their mentality about it. It's kind what, of crazy. what I was thinking is, would you do what he did and wake somebody up? To be just to be with because being alone, especially knowing that eventually you're gonna die in like less than 90 years all by yourself, 
it sucks to be like by yourself for that long time. Would you wake somebody up just for someone to be with you? Because in the movie, he knew he wasn't gonna make it. Like, yeah. He knew like I'm gonna die in this shit. Yeah, it's so crazy. I think I would literally live it exactly how he did. I think you try for the longest time. To just be by yourself, but you eventually just go crazy. I think you just go psychotic. Mm. And literally knowing that, you know, quote unquote, there's a button you press and like your problems, you know, fix more or mm. less, right? Mm-hmm. The if you just be tempted by that one little button that you could you could press mm-hmm. and, and you you have somebody there with you. Yeah. I think I eventually give in and I wake somebody up and just blame it on a system <laughs> error. <laughs> it's okay. So what happened? Uh I pushed the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, could you live ninety years completely by yourself? No, with, mm. like, I would. I would play it how he did. Yeah. Even like in in the movie, he had to eat the same stuff over and over yeah. and over. Oh, that was so crazy yeah. as far as like the past. And then when she, he woke her up, she had like the first class kind of yeah. like, food. He's like, "What the?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But okay, so let's flip it and let's say you were the one asleep. Right? You wake up and you found out that. This lady woke you up. How mad or if any are That's you? That's so such an interesting concept because I, I saw somewhere once I finished the movie, they said it would have been like a great story to tell on in her perspective. Like imagine you waking up, her waking up and like going through this whole like knowing like, oh, like both of us are up at the same time and then at the end, like, what the heck? Like that's so cool to me. But yeah, I would I would be pissed. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely be pissed. I, Cause I would think too, like uh, I don't like whether you're like religious or you just believe like you know, all stars align. Like right. I would, I my mentality would be like, okay, this is destiny, right? Like right. we were destined, to, like just both wake up and you know live our lives like this. And then if you eventually found out that it wasn't destiny, it was you being <laughs> selfish, and you woke me up, I'd be pretty angry at the whole oh, yeah. situation. Like exactly how she she was <laughs> but would you would you eventually forgive that person i mean you're gonna have to you're literally gonna die together no, so. no you don't have to no, just, <laughs> <laughs> you can live in like you can live with the uh, anger all well, wasn't years. wasn't there an option for her to go back did you uh, find a way to no because they couldn't refreeze no, yourself the, yeah, right? i don't think so yeah no they they, they found a way back really? right i think Cause it was no, because the they end. were both alive i thought because no what happened after uh they fixed the ship the the bed in the hospital what do you what do you call uh, it? Yeah, the I main captain's yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He oh, she I had that, that option. She's like, No, yeah. I'm gonna be with you forever. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Oh, oh, spoiler mind. alert. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen it. Speaking, of, it. speaking <laughs> of spoilers, isn't it crazy how it ended like everyone woke up and they went to like the main part and it was like just like stuff growing like green uh-huh. and like how ha- like they had built houses in between, like that. Do you yeah. think they had kids? I, I would imagine you would think too that like i guess like okay so you're not okay so let's break it down so you have 90 years to say they're like 30 years old yeah. okay so you would basically having kids and then is just assuming that they're gonna die there too right because yeah. the chances of them making off the ship so you, let's say you had kids at 30 mm-hmm. um that would be you, that's oh my god so okay so you're 30 <laughs> Let's say you have kids till 40, okay? So at 40 years old, you had a, your first kid. So 10 years so that puts by. Yeah, 10 years okay. past. So that means so they're 80, 80 years old by the time the ship lands to be able to get on the new planet. So you're basically dooming your kids as well. Wait, what What age did they, were they going to go to? Um, They had to spin on that ship 90 years. Okay, mm-hmm. and that that's 30. Let's say they're 30 because they look 30-ish. So let's mm-hmm. say they're 30. So at 30, that means that you would have had to made it to 120? Yep. Uh, that's if they lived. That's if that's they if lived. If they right. lived. So we're saying, do you think like they had kids? kids? Or in other Unless words, you, they would be dooming their kids because their kids would be 90 or 80 years old. Unless you have it like lines. 10 years down the line or give yourself another 10-year leeway. Or, or man, But at that point, like the risks you run when, when so. like you're having the kid, like you, you're yeah, not a like medical. Labor. Yeah, like you're... That makes sense, too. <laughs> I probably I just have a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> Keep banging them out. They just wake up as like 20 kids just running around. Or at that point, they'd be like 20 elderly people <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a senior citizen home <laughs> so as always stay fresh stay hungry stay driven and stay humble <laughs>